Hey friends! So check out this basil plant that I got today. They were on sale for $3.99 so I thought I would love one because I love adding basil to my berry smoothies now. And look at that beautiful sunset. So pretty. Hey friends! Welcome to another video. Lisa here and before we start I have here my blackberry water. If you guys haven't had any water to drink today I highly recommend that you pause the video and go grab yourself a glass. All right, welcome back. I'm glad you went and got some water because we don't drink enough and sometimes we need a little reminder. So today's video, we're going to do two things. First, I want to chat about the kitchen utensils that I use because I had a friend ask me what she might need in her kitchen if she wanted to become a raw vegan, which is pretty awesome. And the second thing, which I will actually put in the description, the time um, that you can click on to jump ahead to the little recipe that we're gonna make. We're gonna make some mushroom zucchini meat and we're gonna put that on some lettuce wraps. It'll be really, really good. So let's chat about what I use in my kitchen. And the two main appliances that I have that were the best things that I could have ever bought was number one, my Vitamix. I use my Vitamix about three to four times a day and it was well worth the investment. I absolutely love it and it does an amazing job and it's a powerhouse and it hasn't failed me once in I have actually had it for about two years now. So although I haven't been raw the whole time, it's only been six months since I've been 100%, but we did use it for like soups and mixing things and stuff before. But in the last six months, it's been used about two to two, no, three to four times a day. And it is so amazing. I highly recommend getting one. The second thing would be my dehydrator. I don't use my dehydrator often. I probably use it every three days or so just for maybe a component in one of my salads. Maybe I dry some coconut or I make some meat like what we're going to do later today. And uh, I got mine uh, cheap. It was about 40 bucks at the kitchen store and it's not the greatest. I really want to save up for an Excalibur or there's a couple other really good ones on the market that I want to get. But for now, this one does perfectly well. Uh, the heat's uneven, so I have to place things a certain way but it works good for what it is. But I also don't dehydrate things all the way. I really like to just let them get a little bit warm. Um, I can't really eat the commercial dehydrated things because they're so dry and I feel very thirsty and a little bit, you know, like I have a little rock in my stomach a little. So I actually completely avoid that and I don't do it myself. So basically everything I make in the dehydrator is soft and moist and ready to go. So that's how I use my dehydrator. The other th appliance that is absolutely amazing is my spiralizer. I highly suggest people get one. This one's mine. It's a Paderno and I got mine off of Fully Raw Christina's website and I'll put the link to her store in the description. But I have also seen them at kitchen stores for about 30 bucks, same price. And they are absolutely amazing. I use mine nearly every single day when I make my zoodles and I, don't think I could live without it because I absolutely love zoodles and they're perfect for a raw vegan diet. You might also want to get a mandolin if you like to slice and dice. The mandolin is pretty awesome. This one here is an OXO and it comes with a bunch of different slicers like you can julienne, you can crinkle cut, you can slice and everything. I really like this. I, when I make my sushi ginger, I can slice it absolutely super tiny thin and soak that in apple cider vinegar and those are ready for my sushi. Uh, also knives. Knives are so critical because you're going to be chopping a lot of vegetables. Now you can get the stainless steel ones or the ceramic ones. We were deciding between the two and we ended up going with the stainless steel ones. Um, we didn't really have a reason. We just really liked these ones a lot. So these were the ones that we got. This one here is my coconut chopping knife because it has this really uh, sharp edge. It's perfect for opening young Thai coconuts and it's really good for mincing garlic and things because it rocks really well. So I have that one and then pause here. All right, and this is my other nice knife set. Uh, it's the same brand. 
there's a paring knife there and there's two larger knives and I absolutely love this set so it is actually a great idea if you want to invest in a really nice set of knives because you're going to be using them quite a bit all right the next thing I highly suggest I have a mess in here the next thing I highly suggest is a garlic press if you like to put a lot of garlic in your dressings which I do um, you can use a garlic press and I also have this handy dandy grater and it's got all different kinds of grating um, sides that you can grate all different kinds so that's pretty awesome I like my fully raw Christina glass straw for my smoothies and my water and I have wooden spoons that I mix my salads with and I would highly suggest investing in some really nice bowls uh, I like to get really big ones because my salads are actually quite huge. So that's a really nice thing to invest in. So other than that, um, and maybe a bamboo cutting board. That's what I got a new one just a little while ago. But you don't really need a lot. And a lot of people actually get by with just a regular uh, blender. Maybe they don't even have a dehydrator. You really don't need those things. They're nice to have, but they're not necessary. And you can thrive eating just exactly the way that nature made food. They grow on the tree, you pick it, you eat it, maybe chop it up into a salad. And really, you don't need a lot. I'm just so glad that we're not using, you know, the stove and the toaster oven and the grill and all that kind of stuff. It all got donated, so I'm glad that that stuff isn't being used anymore. It's actually quite freeing and cleanup is super fast. Clean up is just, you know, rinse the dishes because there really isn't a lot of sticky, scratchy things from when you cook meat and it's caramelized onto your plates and things like that. I just love that I don't have to deal with that anymore. So let's head over to the kitchen and we'll start making our little creation. All right, so I think I've got everything ready here. Uh, this will be our filling. It will be a zucchini mushroom filling with onions and we're going to top it with some cashew sesame seed, sesame cheese and I'm actually not going to be putting them in lettuce as I don't actually have any right now I have to go shopping for some but we're gonna put them in these long red pepper boats so you could use red peppers or you could wrap them um, in lettuce leaves or kale leaves or anything like that that you might want and we need dates and then I have my onions with my flowers that we're going to use as a topping and some tomatoes too so let's get going on this. We'll make these first because they need to go in the dehydrator. So chop this up. All right, so for the filling, I've got everything chopped up and ready to go. And I'm just gonna explain. So I have in here um, one full zucchini that I chopped into itty bitty tiny pieces along with about three or four sun-dried tomatoes. And there's a miniature uh, shallot that I chopped over there and about two cups of finely chopped mushrooms, criminy mushrooms I used. And then in here is my liquid that we're going to use to flavor the filling. And it is two dates um, and the spices that I had in that little uh, container, there was garlic, uh, pepper, salt, paprika, and some fresh oregano. So there I blended those together with about a cup of water and it made in it like a little sauce. So we will add everything to the bowl. So I've sort of mixed everything up there. You can see it looks a little bit, uh, I just wanted to mix it a little before I put the sauce in and then we will pour all of that in there. And stir it up stir it up all right so I have it all ready to go in my dehydrator now a couple things I do recommend the dehydrator for this specific recipe um, if you don't have one you can still do the recipe and just let this marinate for a couple hours instead of dehydrating and I would recommend leaving out the onion because the onion will actually get quite intense if you aren't dehydrating it. So this is our ready to go. It's dripping down there, but that's okay. There's a tray to catch that. So I use um, wax paper to 
to do things like this because this specific dehydrator doesn't have really good trays. So that's why it looks like that. But yeah, so we'll leave this in here for about two hours and we'll get back to it after. All right, and here is the sauce that's gonna go on top. In here, we have three quarter cup of soaked cashews, two tablespoons of sesame seeds, two dates, one to two cloves of garlic. It depends on how garlicky you'd like it. And let's see, there's for spices, it's cayenne, just a dash, uh, salt, nutritional yeast, and you don't need to put that in there, but you can if you want, it's about a tablespoon. And I used a half teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, and then I used approximately a half a cup of water to blend this up. But you can add water, more water if you want, uh, depending on the consistency you desire. So there's our sauce. All right, so we're ready to go. We have some wild onions chopped with some flour, some tomatoes. Here's our red pepper boat. And this is our filling. It was in the dehydrator for about two and a half hours, but I would probably let it go till for four hours, just until it got a little bit um, more crumbly. It's still a little moist and it's still great. I mean, don't get me wrong, it tastes amazing, but yeah, I probably would have let it go in. And then there's our cheese. So we're gonna fill. We're gonna fill it with filling, tomatoes, onions, and then top with cheese. And here is my beautiful zucchini mushroom stuffed red pepper with garlic cashew cheese on top. There's only one on this plate just for photo purposes, but I'm going to be eating a whole bunch of these because they are so delicious. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Subscribe to my channel, like if you like. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So I'll be back for another video another time. Until then, fruit on!